we can get equivalent fractions of numbers by dividing numerator and denominator by the same number greater than 1. 30 divided by 2 divided by 60 divided by 2 is equal to 15 divided by 30. Divide numerator and denominator by same number. 30 divided by 60 dividing by 2 gives 15 divided by 30. 30 divided by 60 dividing by 3 gives 10 divided by 20. 60 divided by 90 dividing by 2 gives 30 divided by 45. 60 divided by 90 dividing by 3 gives 20 divided by 30. 120 divided by 150 dividing by 2 gives 60 divided by 75. 120 divided by 150 dividing by 3 gives 40 divided by 50. 30 divided by 900 dividing by 2 gives 15 divided by 450. 30 divided by 900 dividing by 3 gives 10 divided by 300. From the above table we get to know all these above fractions are equivalent. Can you now complete the following table of equivalent fractions? 2 divided by 3 is equal to blank divided by 6 is equal to 6 divided by blank is equal to 8 divided by blank is equal to blank divided by 15. Yes, the answer is 2 divided by 3 is equal to 4 divided by 6 is equal to 6 divided by 9 is equal to 8 divided by 12 is equal to 10 divided by 15. Let us solve another example. Find the equivalent fraction of 3 divided by 5 with the denominator 20. 3 divided by 5 is equal to blank space divided by 20. How do we get denominator 20? Yes, by multiplying by 4. So, 3 multiplied by 4 divided by 5 multiplied by 4 which is equal to 12 divided by 20. So, we get numerator 12 and denominator 20 as the answer. Therefore, 3 divided by 5 is equal to 12 divided by 20. Therefore, 3 by 5 is equal to 12 by 20. Let us solve one more example with numerator 9. 3 by 5 is equal to 9 by blank space. How do we get 9 as the numerator? Yes, by multiplying by 3. 3 multiplied by 3 by 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 9 by 15. Therefore, 3 by 5 is equal to 9 by 15. Comparing and ordering fractions. We can easily compare like fractions. We write 3 by 8, 7 by 8, 5 by 8. From the above figure, we know 3 by 8 is the smallest fraction. It has smallest shaded region. 7 by 8 is the greatest fraction. It has greatest shaded region. Therefore, we write these fractions in ascending order. 3 by 8 is less than 5 by 8 is less than 7 by 8 from smallest to greatest. We write these fractions in descending order as 7 by 8 greater than 5 by 8 greater than 3 by 8 from greatest to smallest. In the case of like fractions, the denominator is the same. So, the order of the numerator gives the order of the fractions. Let us write the following like fractions in descending order. 5 by 13, 8 by 13, 7 by 13, 1 by 13, 3 by 13, 12 by 13. 
choose the greatest fraction 12 by 13 is greater than 8 by 13 is greater than 7 by 13 is greater than 5 by 13 is greater than 3 by 13 which is greater than 1 by 13. Comparison of unlike fractions. But suppose you are given the following unlike fractions. Example, Sunil colored 8 by 10 of a circle and Meera colored 3 by 5 of a circle. Who colored more? How do we compare the fractions with different denominators or unlike fractions? 3 by 5 and 8 by 10. Can we change them to like fractions? Yes, we make the denominators equal. Now it is easy. 3 multiplied by 2 by 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6 by 10. We multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2. 6 by 10 is equivalent to 3 by 5. Now we have the denominator 10. Now the denominators of 8 by 10 and 6 by 10 are the same. They are like fractions now. <laughs> Very good. We know how to compare the like fractions. Now it is easy to compare these like fractions. 8 by 10 is greater than 6 by 10. Therefore, answer is Sunil colored more than Meera. Let us take another example of comparison of unlike fractions. 4 by 7 and 3 by 4. 4 multiplied by 4 by 7 multiplied by 4 is equal to 16 by 28. We multiply denominator 7 by 4 to change denominator to 28. Now 3 multiplied by 7 by 4 multiplied by 7. We multiply denominator 4 by 7 to change denominator to 28. Multiply the denominator and the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second. And similarly, we multiply the numerator and denominator of the second by the denominator of the first. This is cross multiplication or butterfly method. Common denominator is 28. Now, we can easily compare these two like fractions with same denominator. 16 by 28, 21 by 28. Therefore, 16 by 28 is less than 21 by 28. Therefore, 3 by 4 is greater than 4 by 4. What did we learn? Equivalent fractions can be obtained by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by same number greater than 1. 15 multiplied by 2 by 20 multiplied by 2 is equal to 30 by 40 by multiplying 30 divided by 2 by 40 divided by 2 is equal to 15 by 20 this is we get by dividing exercise compare the following fractions equal to less than or greater than 4 by 9 is blank space 7 by 8 13 by 26 is blank space 1 by 2. 17 by 5 is blank space 5 by 11. 